that was uh, still intact, as well as the panels that enclose where the drogue parachutes are located. We can see those fast Freedom. boats. SpaceX is go for recovery personnel to approach. Expect personnel alongside in the next few minutes. Freedom copies. We can see those fast boats. We weren't kidding when we said they were fast. While it does take about 30 minutes for the main recovery vessel to make its way over to the capsule, these fast boats uh, will be doing a couple of things simultaneously. A couple of them are going to be working to retrieve the parachutes that you see in the background there of this drone shot. Those parachutes will be retrieved from the ocean surface. We want to make sure we... Uh, we are able to pull those out. The recovery vessel there closest to the spacecraft is going to be performing some safety checks. We can see there they're using an instrument that is basically working to detect if there are any hypergolic vapors or fumes that are still residing in uh, and or around the Draco thruster nozzles or, or outlets. Uh, the hypergolic fuel, which is necessary for on-orbit uh, on-orbit burns to con to maneuver the the spacecraft. Unfortunately, those hypergolics are um, are are unable to be breathed. They they are toxic, and so this team here is doing those initial safety checks to make sure that it is safe for the rest of the recovery team to approach the spacecraft. They're also checking to make sure that any residuals from the, the pyros are, are safe and um, are not going to cause any issues. We can see the team working their way around the spacecraft to do these, um, event, basically these, these sniff tests on all of those Draco thrusters. And as we continue to await the recovery of our Dragon spacecraft with NASA astronauts Nick Haig, Sonny Williams, Butch Wilmore, and Roscosmos cosmonaut Alexander Gorbanov inside, Dragon has continuously, uh, already rather, uh, autonomously completed to um, climb aboard the capsule and work through procedures ahead of lifting um, onto the nest um, of the recovery vessel Megan. We heard it's going to be about 25 minutes or so until that um, lift actually takes place. Okay, Freedom, the next call will be from the SpaceX flight surgeon on Dragon and Ground Private. Understand. Thank you. Call outs there indicating that the crew will have the opportunity to do a quick check in with the SpaceX flight surgeon. This is standard procedure for every Dragon spacecraft uh, when it returns to. The, when it returns, sure that no more uh, hypergolic fumes or vapors uh, come out from the spacecraft. They'll also place harnessing around the spacecraft that are required in order to lift it out of the water. As, go ahead, Sandra. Continuing to get some views of the recovery personnel, uh, both the main, the main recovery vessel, Megan, as well as some of those fast boats that we've discussed previously. It looks like just a beautiful day there out off the coast of Tallahassee, Florida. Um, weather was pristine. We were able to get undocked from the International Space Station, as expected, at 10.05 p.m. Pacific time yesterday evening. And Crew Dragon has since completed um, steps ahead of its splash. Thanks so much, Jaden. We did just have some communications uh, letting us know that we'll have about a five minute um, period where we won't be able to hear from the crew. So please go ahead. Tell us how was the view from the recovery vessel? Absolutely. Yeah, I was mentioning earlier splashdown was nothing short of spectacular. And we were stationed about one and a half nautical miles away from the splashdown zone and had great visuals here on the recovery vessel, Megan. We actually saw a little of the smoke trail as the spacecraft was coming in. And then moments later, we spotted those drogue chutes, and this was quickly followed by four healthy white and orange main parachutes. We then tracked Dragon all the way down as it slowly propelled into the ocean. And I think I speak for all of us on the ship when I say a new core memory was made today, and we are looking forward to having Crew 9 on board with us a little later. Jaden, that is amazing. Now, obviously, we are watching it here on camera, and the landing conditions look pretty good, but how was it from your perspective? What is the sea state out there? Absolutely. 
Absolutely. So we've had optimal conditions for splashdown, and today it is sunny and 63 degrees outside right now with clear skies, light winds, and calm seas. The sea uh, looks absolutely 